Okay, so this is my evaluation of Birkhoff. I've done my interview, um, and this is evaluation of the final performance um, with the added video um, that I had spoken over, and also um, of the style itself and my progression throughout learning about Birkhoff and in our own piece called Greek. Um, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the interview. Um, and just clarify some of the questions, um, talk about the style, um, talk about comparison between Stanislavski and, and Birkhoff briefly, which was another one of the questions, um, and also evaluating my performance. Um, I might talk more into detail about certain aspects of my performance um, and uh, how that linked to Birkhoff's style. So to start off with, I just wanted to talk about how um, in my interview, um, I think I struggled a lot, um, and mainly throughout the whole process, struggling a lot um, with the uh, distinguishing Mirkoff style um, to how actually to read it as a script and transform that into a physical piece. Because I've talked about the similarities between sort of Arto and Gogba um, in the fact that um, Birkhoff is mime-like, is over-exaggerated, it's physical theatre mixed with sort of abstract theatre and a use of uh, dialogue as well that's quite sophisticated, it's quite poetic Shakespearean sort of dialogue. Um, as well with an accent as well um, of the West End, um, uh, the East End of London, sorry, um, uh, obviously linking back to Birkhoff's background as I've touched on before. So looking at the style before, I've talked about how um, he used gestures. I think that it was all to do with, um, and researching a bit more about it, I think it was all to do with how he took the um, the physical words. I think it all sort of spanned off physical words for him. The feeling that the words would give a piece and what he was trying to communicate. So obviously in our piece, um, the character of Eddie, a lot of his personal characteristics um, and his relationship with his mother when he doesn't realise that that waitress is his mother and the father when he didn't realise the manager sort of shows a lot about the class that he grew up in and I think it's about taking from his own personal experience of the East End of London and that sort of rough nature, the sort of grotesque feel of um, this sort of uh, background um, and the raw feel that he wants to project to an audience so he looks at that and I think he wants to try and build the character through the storyline of description words so like descriptive words used to uh, describe uh, what the character through what the character is saying so um, in a lot of Eddie's dialogue a lot of things that he say gives off the impression that he's very egotistical, that he's very big-headed, that he's not exactly a pleasant character, that he um, expects too much from the waitresses. Also, quite a lot of their dialogue shows them off to be quite skanky, quite trampy, um, and I think that's something that we interpreted from Birkhoff's piece, but also I think that should be interpreted from Birkhoff's piece um, of Greek, and I think that the audience, if they were to just read the script, they would have interpreted this the same. So uh, when looking at that and thinking back to Birkhoff's style, I think that that's how he often worked in communicating uh, what characters' motivations were and that helped to build characterization. Now transforming this into the actual piece um, required obviously a lot of physical theatre. So now you've built up the character, you would build up um, using the words to create the atmosphere and to create the physical movement. So obviously we talked about defined staccato movement, mime-like movement, gestural movement, over-exaggeration, all these words that I keep saying. The physicalization obviously comes from these specific words that give a sort of feel. So some words might give a shorter movement, sort of like sharper movements, and others may seem longer as long as they have a d defined start and finish. And I think that was why Birkhoff was trying to show the physical characteristic and story, um, the physical characteristic of each character through the description of the character that was physically shown. I can't explain. Um, 
say for example you have one of the waitresses um, saying a lot of sexual um, things, um, a lot of things uh, to do um, with sexual acts, it obviously gives the impression that she's quite skanky, quite slutty, but then showing this physically, um, the words sort of lend themselves to certain movements and I think that's how, because Verkov's p um, plays are very visual, um, that's how he would build up those pieces um, and I think that's what I'm trying to explain in the fact that it was to do with the dialogue, perhaps the dialogue as a starting point, build up to the physicalness of physicalising the words through physical theatre but at the same time keeping it so that it's not just this um, too abstract piece that um, like uh, uh, a frantic assembly where you're um, just showing the feeling of the words and not really understanding it has to be understandable to an audience. Moving on to the comparison, uh, what I talked about in my interview, I think I uh, talked about this quite well between the abstract and naturalistic sides. Um, so obviously Stanislavski is more naturalistic. It's about um, super objective and character motivation that build the character's characteristics and obviously um, give the audience something to relate to. Whereas with Birkhoff, it's very much um, them observing these over exaggerated pompous characters that may sort of stand out as figures in society but won't always be someone that they can personally relate to or may not have an emotion towards it's very much about the uh, political statements behind it and the um, ideas and messages that Birkhoff's trying to get across rather than feeling the emotion of the character. I also talked about the differences um, in purpose of humour, so a lot of Birkhoff has like a dark humour, it's quite dirty and grotesque um, and Stanislavski is more natural so it's less about, it might have some humorous moments but it's more like natural humour that you might exhibit in real life whereas you know you wouldn't be um, saying those sort of similar sort of things in real life. It, a lot of Stanislavski is about real life sort of uh, as as close to reality as you can get and I also talked a lot about physical theatre so how um, Stanislavski uh, didn't use any physical theatre because he didn't want to break the fourth wall he didn't want to break the audience perception it was like they should be immersed in the piece whereas Birkhoff wants to break the fourth wall Birkhoff wants to um, engage the audience but not um, to the point where they forget that this is a play um, not so that they get immersed um, and forget that they are trying to look for the messages and understand something from it. Obviously with Birkhoff's style there are a lot of other aspects that um, prevent that as well but physical theatre is quite a major one in that point. So I've, I've talked a lot about that in my interview um, so I don't think I need to talk much more about that. Um, so finally talking about evaluating my performance. I've, ev I've evaluated my performance previously um, in a video where I spoke over what um, we did um, but I just wanted to talk about some key aspects that I thought went well, some things that I thought we could improve on um, and how I thought that we changed throughout um, our whole rehearsal process that resulted in our final piece. So in our final piece, um, it happened a lot quicker than we thought it would. Um, I think that the main thing towards the end of our rehearsal um, period, towards when we were getting very close to actually performing it, we struggled and we were trying to work more on pace. Obviously because we knew the piece, we rehearsed it well, we knew our lines, um, it was more about then defining it, polishing off what we had and making it more like Birkhoff. Obviously we tried to do it as best as we could, um, every lesson was valuable in the rehearsal process um, in becoming more and more like Birkhoff style. But I think that um, we struggled a lot with pacing, so we tried to find moments where we could slow it down or speed it up. Obviously Birkhoff has high energy levels and so towards the end um, we we I think we did manage to get some moments of stillness, some moments that were slower than others, um, especially after the fight, during the fight and before the fight um, between the manager and Eddie. In terms of like how this impacted the play and how I think we did this in the final performance, I think this was effective 
it allowed the audience to um, evaluate what had happened as any pause would but also allowed them to make sense of the physical theatre in terms of the progression of the storyline because Berkhoff is so high energy and because it's like telling a story through physical theatre through the complicated words that were Shakespearean sort of feel to them I think that um, these were good these pauses these moments of slowness and stillness were good and I think hopefully we managed to achieve this um, throughout um, they were good in, in showing how um, how moments um, and movements were defined had a start and end um, in the progression of the story um, also in our final piece I think that we managed to get gestures the mime sort of feel obviously I, I've talked about how makeup um, and costume especially makeup adds to this um, obviously because it draws attention to the facial features and makes them seem bigger anyway but I think that we achieved a good amount of gestures and that showed off Birkhoff style well I think we managed to um, show off the over exaggeration um, which obviously adds to the characterisation um, of each different character in this in our piece um, and obviously the messages we wanted to get across um, so that also makes it more abstract in itself too but I think one thing that we definitely could have improved on was the body um, movement and physicalisation so we looked at a bit of physical theatre and movement too but I think we could have worked out more um, more so uh, more like actual coming together to create objects to physicalize the words into the story that would be visual to the audience rather than the the like we had the feeling of the words sort of but to put those two two together and um, we obviously I think we showed like our facial features well but we should have engaged our whole bodies better and um, I think that would have made it more abstract more um, more like Birkhoff style I think in the feeling of the words showing and expressing it with your whole body. Um, in terms of space staging um, and proxemics I think that we did use proxemics quite well um, especially when we were um, in the fight, build up to the fight so the waitresses on one side and Eddie on the other showing the confrontation, showing how the waitresses come together um, to create um, this force against Eddie um, and I think that, the, that that was quite effective I think that the staging could have been used differently we weren't quite simplistic with the staging because we looked at Birkhoff and how he uses every single piece of set to his advantage and he uses it with purpose it's there for a reason and we wanted to stick to that um, but we also found that it was quite difficult to sort of um, to, to uh, 